Messin here, this is your virtual grind trainer, and today we're gonna be talking about creatine. All right guys, so I'm gonna tell you my story, uh, basically everything that I know about creatine and what it has done for me. I'll show you some pictures of my transformation of what creatine has done for me uh, and, and what I hear uh, that it does for other people. We'll go into the science, how it works, and basically if, if it's worth taking the supplement. Now, if you actually read uh, into creatine, actually look into creatine, it's one of the most studied supplements or the most studied supplements uh, on the planet, right? <clears throat> uh, creatine is, is natural. Um, there is some there are some synthetic forms of creatine. I obviously recommend getting the, the full natural uh, creatine supplement. Uh, creatine can be found in most meats, uh, red meats, uh, a lot of different animals. Um, so yeah, creatine is a substance that is, is present in every single cell. Uh, so creatine is, is very uh, beneficial for muscle growth. Now a lot of people think of creatine on the lines of like steroids or uh, human growth hormone. Uh, I remember when I first started, uh, I heard creatine and I thought it was, you know, this synthetic, something that was bad for you. And all these people told me that it was bad for me. Uh, we just didn't really understand what it was. We had no knowledge uh, on creatine. Uh, so if you actually look into creatine, you'll see that it's 100% safe uh, if consumed the right way, right? With a ton of water. And that is one of the huge uh, upsides or drawbacks to creatine is you do need a lot of water. And we'll get into that in my story. So creatine is safe, all right? So if you're like on the bandwagon of taking creatine or not taking creatine, I do recommend creatine. I think creatine is, uh, there is a lot of positive studies on creatine. I think it only does good uh, to your body. Uh, it does not work for everyone, uh, but it definitely works for me and, and it does work for a lot of people that I see that take it, right? Uh, so there's a lot of different forms of creatine out there. I recommend monohydrate. I know there's a lot of different hybrids out there. Um, I just like 100% pure monohydrate powder, right? Just 100%. Uh, I know you can find it in some proteins and, and um, some pre-workouts, but I recommend just getting the 100% uh, creatine. I actually had a, a GNC uh, brand. Um, it doesn't matter. Just get, go do your research, find a high... Uh, Find a high, you know, pharmaceutical grade creatine powder. It doesn't even have to be pharmaceutical grade, but go out there, find one that has really good reviews, and it should do wonders to your body, right? So the science behind creatine. So what 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 creatine does is it goes into the mitochondria of your cells, goes into your cells, um, and just fills the cells up with water, and that's really all it it does. Um, and that promotes you know muscle growth. Uh, muscles only grow when there's water around it, right? So if you're super dehydrated, it's gonna look like your muscles are deflated, right? So you need a lot of water. So basically, um, how it works is when you consume this creatine, and you drink a lot of water, it just stores the water into those cells um, temporarily, right? So it's not a permanent thing. Uh, let's say you take creatine, you know, and you get some good gains. If you stop taking creatine, it's gonna take out all that water that's in that cells and you'll go back uh, to your regular muscle, right? So creatine has upsides and downsides, um, not even health-wise. There's no health uh, conditions with creatine itself, but there are some downsides that you might want to look into. You know, if you're taking creatine, you're doing it correctly, you're getting really, really big. If you stop taking it, you're gonna lose gains and it's gonna aggravate you, right? So it is really up to you. Do you want this, this supportive creatine to make you look bigger? Uh, or do you want to do it the, the fully natural way and build all the muscle yourself so uh, it's, you're less likely, to, less likely to use it all? That's for you to decide, right? So my story, wh what has it done for me? Well, if you can look at these pictures, uh, this was at age 16, 17. I'm, 19 right now and it definitely blew me up you can see that it blew up my muscles uh, a lot of my muscles um you know were just filled with uh water and in muscle obviously and um yeah i mean it definitely looks really good i've gotten so many compliments uh, i don't take creatine anymore i will get back on it but um but yeah i got a ton of compliments from so many people saying that i got a lot bigger um and creatine definitely shows creatine definitely works. A lot of people thought that I was on steroids at the time, even my, my parents, uh, and it, it's, a, it's great. It really does do its job. When I was on it, I had to drink a ton of water. I was peeing all the time. 
But you know what? Hydration is key, right? So I felt really, really good on creatine. I never had like headaches or anything like that. I never like pissed out a, a rock or anything like that, creatine rock. Um, for the most part, creatine was very beneficial to me. I definitely saw gains. I really saw strength gains, uh, especially when benching. Um, I could, you know, perform higher weight and more endurance so I could do more reps. So it definitely helped me. I recommend to look into creatine. I recommend 100% monohydrate powder, you know, but it really is up to you. Do your own research. Make sure it's a high quality product and uh, consume it the right way. You know, drink a lot of water with it, right? I recommend a gallon, right? Um, at most, <laughs> a, gallon, a gallon a day. Um, what that does is it just pushes out all the toxins, make sure that the creatine uh, is being used properly, fl uh, flushing out um, the excess creatine, uh, which isn't even a problem. But um, drinking a lot of water in the first place is really, really beneficial to your body and your body's cells. So overall, I do recommend uh, to, to get creatine. It will uh, do the job, uh, not for everyone, but uh, if you do it the right way, uh, you should see results within a month. Now that is probably one of the biggest downsides to creatine is it does take time. It's not like day and night. It's not like the next day you're going to see results. It's going to take about a month to two months to really uh, see the progress, right? So after that one month, two month period, if it's not working, I recommend to see different alternatives through creatine. See what, uh, what other people take that can't gain on monohydrate and just adapt to that, right? So it's not the end of the world. If it doesn't work for you, you can build it naturally. That's what this channel's for. It's really how to build muscle for the average person. We're not going to go into like super, super complex like workouts and, and all that stuff. We're going to do, you know, basic um, workouts that really do work, really build muscle, really make you look good, right? So I have a, a, uh, a page up. It's called Virtual Grind Trainer on thomasmesson.com, and you can see a lot of our workouts that we do. I have some really good videos up, some good knowledge out there uh, within that website that you can really read in uh, to and, and really just look at and, and uh, copy those workouts, see if it works for you, right? So if you got value, definitely subscribe to this channel because we're going to have way, way, way more um, regarding, you know, working out, uh, you know, abs, all that type of stuff, right? So with that being said, love you all. Have a great day. Peace out.